time never stops nor will ever stop but in its infinite journey has been keeping tab of every second of every speck of the entire earth sky and nether world one of the seven ancient islands of the earth is jambudu Western state of India is Maharashtra. This is the tale of the great hero of Maratha dynasty, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, and his grand legacy. see and the sayadri ranges lies the beautiful state of maharashtra the foundation of maharashtra was initially laid by satvan thereafter came the bakataks under whose reign we find the world renowned paintings at the ajanta caves the yadavs had made devnagri as their capital and marathi was made maharashtra's administrative language with time rulers kept changing the state's boundaries kept changing maharashtra was also walking on the path of spiritualism and the center for the same was lord vithoba at pandharpur century maharashtra had started witnessing a catastrophic era alauddin khilji a ruthless ruler invaded delhi the era of hindu rulers in maharashtra had ended this continued for more than 300 years At the beginning of the 17th century, Sultan Muhammad Adil Shah of Bijapur ruled most of the region. His tyranny caused immense pain to the Marathas. Majority of vassals were forced to comply with Adil Shah's rule. Shah Ji Rajiv Bhosle was one such vassal who had control over Shivnagri. His wife was the mother Jizaba. When our motherland was on a lookout for a brave and virtuous warrior, Jizaba gave birth to the pride of the Maratha. While he was called Shibba with affection, we all know him as Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. Jizabai narrated stories of Indian warriors and their glories to Shivaji. Stories of Ramayan, Mahabharat, and other stories of grand warriors. extreme pain to young shivaji at the tender age of 15 shivaji had already assembled an army of maratha mob and gathered the whole maratha set shivaji took a solemn oath i shivaji shahji bhosle i swear by my mother and motherland that my life's goal is to establish hindvi samraj and i will do anything to make this happen 
our resolution is Swaraj and only Swaraj. on forehead, holding grand sword, galloping on horse with extreme strength at the tender age of 15, took over the Torna Fort and he hoisted the flag of Hindvi Swaraj, named it Prachandgarh. Abzal Khan, who was the commander of Adil Shah's rule, had reached Pratabgar to stop Veer Shivaji. Abzal tried to kill Shivaji through deception, but Shivaji was wearing an iron armor inside. Abzal's attempt to kill Shivaji failed. Instead, Shivaji, using tiger claws, removed his guts out. Fear had engulfed the Adil Shah dynasty and the Mughal Emperor in Delhi were equally scared. Shah Khan, the Prime Minister of Aurangzeb, had reached Pune to attack Shivaji, but Veer Shivaji cut off his fingers and then looted Mughal treasure in Surat. After the Purandar pact with Jaisen, Minister of Aurangzeb, Veer Shivaji along with his son Sambhaji reached Agra, where Veer Shivaji was imprisoned by Aurangzeb. But the prison walls cannot hold brave warriors for long. Veer Shivaji escaped from the prison right under the nose of the Mughal army. Awakened. The Swaraj gained stupendous momentum. This led to the destruction of Mughal power. The whole Mughal region was ruled by one fearless man in the name of Swaraj. Nobody can forget the sacrifices of great Maratha warriors such as Shiva Kashib, Jiva Mahale, Kanoji Angre, Tanaji Malusare, Baji Prabhu Deshpande and many more. Great preparation took place at Raya. The consecration of Veer Shivaji took place with traditional rituals. He was bestowed with the title of Chhatrapati. In every nook and corner, there was galore of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj as the pride of Maratha was spreading in all directions. The whole country was basking in the glory of Veer Shivaji. But on 3rd April 1680, the prodigal son and the rising star of Hindvi Swaraj breathed his last. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj passed away. But he was and still is in the hearts of millions of Indians. Such is his aura that his legacy lives along centuries after his demise. Swaraj and protecting the country, the son of Shivaji, Chhatrapati Sambhaji Maharaj, along with Maratha Peshwa, fought the Mughals and Britishers. But 
by 1857, there was British rule all over India, including Maratha territories. The entire nation was the victim of British atrocities. of Swaraj. This message not only led the freedom movement in Maharashtra, but also sparked a new life in the entire nation. Many freedom fighters such as Vasudev Balwant Tharke, Swatantra Veer Vinayak Damodar Savarkar, Sabhikar brothers and many more plunged in the freedom struggle. <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi returned from South Africa. Mumbai became one of the major center of the freedom movement led by Mahatma Gandhi. Whether it was the Dandi March or the non-cooperation movement, the freedom fighters of Maharashtra readily participated and supported the cause of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi led the Quit India movement from Gwalior Tank in Mumbai, which shook the foundation of the British rule in India. Britishers laid the foundation of Gateway of India. Its four walls felt the shackles of servitude and were longing to breathe in an India which was free from British tyranny. Fifteenth August, nineteen forty-seven. After a struggle of about two hundred years, India got freedom from the British Raj. The entire country was able to sense the smile of the walls of Gateway of India. Every Indian citizen was filled with pride for being a part of independent India. The Gateway of India witnessed the last voyage taking Britishers back home. India had finally got freedom. The Britishers had left and a brighter future awaited India. Under the guidance and efforts of legal luminary Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar, the constitution of India was established. The ideas and policies of Baba Saheb Ambedkar vastly helped in progress of the new India and led the development of its society. The Maratha land has always had this unique quality of rising strongly after every struggle. To strengthen the economy of free India, Maharashtra chose the route of industrialization. Mumbai, which was earlier called Bombay, where the first ever rail started, first ever movie was made, the city progressed exponentially after freedom. The city of dreams, Mumbai, became the economic capital of the nation. India led to the path of development and progress. Education, health, defense, societal development, women empowerment. In every field, India's progress is visible. In these 75 years, India has made its mark globally. Keeping in mind the sacrifices which ensured the Indian freedom, the entire nation is celebrating the 75th year of independence. The next 25 years are going to be Amrit Kaal. 
India is aware that progress lies in speed. India has resolved to never stop, to never bow down. Today, the goal of India is to be the greatest and most powerful country. India is fortunate to have such a great leader who has the vision and determination to ensure that India becomes a global power. India is progressing under the leadership of our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi who has pledged that before the 100th year of Indian independence, India must feature in the list of developed nations of the world. All of this is possible only if every citizen follows the Panch Prana. And we will take the Panch Prana to the 2014th century. The resolution to develop India erase all traces of servitude. To feel proud of our country's legacy, unity and togetherness. The sense of duty among the citizens. On the basis of these five resolutions, India will become the second highest economy of the world.